Ay, ay, ay. To the pay for the grass is always green. I don't do no labels, I call it how I see it. Uh. Okay, uh. out to the pay for the grass is always green. I don't do no labels, I call it how I see it. Uh. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of No Label, the podcast, live on location at the Buffalo Festival here at my boy Nell. Yes, sir. We're back at it again, sitting down with another Buffalo, I don't want to call you a historian, but when he's got stories for days, and he got bars for days. You know what I'm saying? You might catch him with a backpack, you might not. He's a, oh, oh, one of the part of the backpack mafia, you know what I mean? We with El Biz. Hey, what's up, everybody? Man, I appreciate being here. No Label Podcast. It's been a long time. I've been wanting to be in the space with y'all. I'm a fan, so appreciate thank y'all for having me. I appreciate me. it. It's, it's, it's likewise, bro. We're we going we gonna to have a full one where we're oh, going to sure, cover sure. everything. For sure. But, man, El Biz, what is Backpack Mafia? Backpack Mafia is Western New York's premier beat battle league. We are... Uh, we gather a host of producers who we feel are, are competitors, and, and we pit them against each other. And man, we have a ball with it, man. It's, it's one-on-one, beat versus beat, to see who the illest on the beats. That's the tagline, you know what I'm saying? That's who is fire. the illest on the beats? That's what we want to see. So that's what Backpack Mafia is. That's dope. That's when dope. did y'all start doing that? When did it originate? Oh, uh, it originated in about, two th- no, no, not even, yeah, 2019. We started mm. in 2019, our first event. And, um, you know, it was it was just an idea. Like, me and my partner, Dark Skin Jermaine, we came together and was like, yo, we need to do something. You know, the, the city is buzzing with, you know what I'm saying, with the Griselda success. And so people are going to want to come to the city and they want to see what the city has to offer. We should create something to be able to provide something for the fans of the city and the culture in the city. So that's what nice. we did. Yeah, man. So, like, in Backpack Mafia, is, is that's, a, like, a newer thing. But how long have you been spending money? Oh, I've been rapping and producing and singing for probably about, man, like, <laughs> over 15 years. Come on. Over 15 years. I, like, I've been working in the major industry for about 10 years now, you know what I'm saying? But overall, just starting and being a part of the local scene, it's been about 15, 16 years. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah, because I, when I heard your uh, your project, uh, we'll say you and Reese. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And High score. Yep. Yeah, bro. Like, the visuals, the aesthetic, like, everything, like matched up perfectly and yeah. I'm just like yo it was a moment like type shit we was at uh, GCR yeah and this, yeah, yeah, yeah. man can you describe that project for people who haven't heard it oh man so the high score project is a project by myself and the Source Academy kid and uh, we came came together and collaborated on doing something that kind of bridged the gap between our two different personalities mm-hmm. you know he's really heavily into uh, into psychedelics and the science behind psychedelics and, and microdose usage and whatnot. yes sir and you know and myself I'm just like I'm a receiver of people in their natural spaces, you know what I'm saying? So when he came to me about the idea, it was like, man, I have, I've had my own experiences, you know what I'm saying? I don't indulge as much, but I have my own experience as well. Mm-hmm. So when we started to put it together, it was just, it was a no-brainer, man, you know what Word. I'm saying? I, I always felt like the people that created Mario Brothers had to be like, hi, hey, when they did it. mushrooms and stars and you're changing colors. Yeah, so, right. you know, and so that's... We created a, a video game theme behind it and then just told real stories about our experiences on that project. Yeah, man, that that was dope. It was like one of those authentically like yeah. original ideas that, that that's definitely missing yeah. in today's like music scene. Yeah, I think one of the things about that project too is like when you see it, you would automatically think that there's a bunch of video game references and whatnot, but it's not. It's really us talking about, you know, that concept of of you know of, of psychedelic experiences in addition to our own personal life experiences that kind of lined us up to be able to work together. So mm-hmm. it was really dope, man. What's one of the what's one of the things that kept you going throughout those 15 years? The game has changed a lot. Oh, you know man. man. Um, there's a lot of people in the world. You know, there's billions of people in the world. And I would be a fool to think that everybody heard me all at one time. So I understand that if, if I stay consistent, 
and the game changes, I still get an opportunity to meet new people, new fresh faces. I become kind of brand new to the scene or to the culture every five years because the sounds change. Right. Five years ago, it was the gritty underground sound and then fast forward five more years and now all of the women are getting they're propelled into the front of the hip hop culture. Yep, you see yep. what I'm saying? And so now I'm I'm new all over again. That's right. And so that's kind of what keeps me motivated. And too, I got kids and I want to show them that, you know, hard work and talent and consistency is the reason why you'll be successful with what you want to do. Absolutely. And so where do you see the sound going maybe the next five years if you could kind of predict? Oh man. From I, what I, you see right now. From my social media experience, they say it's going Caribbean, African, Afrobeat, yeah, international, Afro international yeah. and I'm seeing it kind of transition into that. But I also know that at the foundation of hip hop, it's always going to be that New York, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, it's like we celebrating hip hop 50, and it's the reason why you see all of the OGs getting they just do with yeah. concerts and traveling now because that vintage sound it, it just ain't never gonna go nowhere. So, on a big on a big level, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The islands and the the, the R&B mesh yeah. is always gonna be at the forefront, but you know it's 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 all culture, man. Word, word, and we see we see how our culture has influenced the entire world. Like, yeah. And Absolutely, it's, it's such a it's such an amazing thing. Like artists that we have here, like getting heard overseas. Yeah. And it's like they want to dress like us. They yeah, dance like paying us. Of them. For Facts. real. Fact. I just got a text or uh, uh, a notification that I got placed on a. a, a a mixtape from in Paris just fire. last night. You know what fire. I'm saying? So it's That's like, yo, fire. you just never know who's listening. Yeah. You know, I got friends of mine like that that live in in Spain and Portugal that I've done records with, and I'm here in Buffalo. Like, like yeah. I stay on the east side doing my work in my basement half the time. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's just the internet is a beautiful thing. It's a great tool when you use it properly. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what's your your latest project and, and where can people find that? Uh, the latest project is called Myth vs Legend. Uh, it's a project that was produced by a producer named uh, Myth Got Beats from Pennsylvania, from Erie, Pennsylvania. And uh, you can find everything on IStayBusy.com. I've been uh, working to build a new platform called Mission 5000 to kind of push, like d redirect my music. I've been promoting uh, streaming platforms for a long time. So now I'm just promoting my business. I Stay Busy is my business. ISB is the, the fashion and, and uh, music company that I run and that I've created. And, and that's where it's at. So I stay busy.com. I stay busy. You should too. Come on. You know what I mean? Appreciate you pulling up, coming to sit down with us, man. Oh man, thank y'all for having me, man. It's a great day, man. Salute to No Label Podcast. No well, look, hey. Is it yeah, is there anything you, you know, any message for your viewers? Oh man, listen. Stay tuned to No Label Podcast. Uh, definitely. I got a lot of stories to tell and Facts. I got a lot See, of stuff to talk you, about. You're going to so have a full sit down. When we kick it, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But hey, like I always say, man, I stay busy. You should too. Keep grinding. Don't quit for nothing and nobody. Only losers quit. Winners win. And that's because they didn't give up. And that's it. Absolutely, yes, man. Sir. Yo, Biz. My man. Appreciate no you, brother. Podcast. We out. Let's Peace. Go.